Today we are starting a new series of Flutter videos where every week we will be sharing a package of the week. These are Flutter packages which we have found very useful and I am sure if you know its usage you will also find it useful and helpful in building Flutter apps. So today's package of the week is Android SMS Retriever package. In most of our Flutter apps, we need to implement mobile-based authentication where we need to retrieve OTP from user in a user-friendly way. This package helps us to automatically retrieve the OTP from Android device which then we can populate in OTP field and perform authentication without asking user to type the OTP manually. So let's open Visual Studio. And let's create a new Flutter project. Let's name it package of the week. Okay, our new project is ready, so let's open it in Visual Studio. And now let's open the package website Android SMS Retriever. So this is our package and we need to install this package. So let's check out the installation command. And the installation command is flutter pub add android sms retriever. So let's copy this command and let's open the terminal in our visual, visual studio editor. And let's paste this command here and let's run it. So if we go to our pubsmec yml, we will find that our package is added and now we can go ahead and connect uh, our mobile phone because we want to test the SMS feature. So we need to use a real device. I will connect it to my Android phone and you can see my Android phone is connected and I will run this app on my Android phone. Okay, so our app is running and the default feature of the app is the counter feature which we can see is working properly and now we will go ahead and download this repository. We will unzip this repository and 
I will replace it with the current lib directory. Not exactly the lib directory of the package, but the lib directory of the example. And now I will refresh my app. In case there is a error, then I will have to restart the app, but uh, I think the app restarted automatically. And here I can see that all the features provided by this package are listed here. So I will directly go to the, the feature that uh, we need most for authenticating the user and with this is request one time SMS consent. So let's check out this feature. So what I will do is that I will send a sample SMS message from my another device. And this message is a simple message which says OTP and there, there is a dash and then there is a OTP number. So first I will tap on request one time SMS consent and here you can see that the status changed to waiting for consent and now I will send the OTP and let's see what happens. So once this uh, uh, waiting for SMS uh, status is there then your app is starts listening to the incoming SMS and uh, once the first SMS arrives, then it reads the SMS and here you can see that it's saying allow package of the week to read the message below and enter the code. So I will tap on allow and once I tap on allow, you can see that it has automatically read the OTP from my SMS and you can see it has print uh, displayed it on the status. Uh, status text so this is the app and this app sorry this is the package and this package is very much helpful in authenticating the user and making the process user friendly i hope you found this video informative stay tuned for more such videos we will be uh, we will be doing more videos uh, based on package of the week and will be uh, sharing more useful packages with our viewers. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye bye and have a nice day.